Welcome viewers. Today on TV Box Stop, I give to you an exciting and innovative way to get a high-end Samsung Android TV Box whose performance is so high, it could very well be the next generation of Android streaming and gaming devices, and even rival the big names in the industry like Nvidia Shield. I present to you, the James Donkey USB Type-C Hub. This is a multifunction USB, internet, data transfer, and video streaming hub. But wait, didn't I just say Samsung? Don't get confused. This exciting new development will be revealed right after the break. So stay tuned, that's coming up next. So I'm back, and this is the box it comes in. I will just take a couple of seconds to quickly unpack the contents inside. So in the box there is just the device itself and an instruction manual. The hub itself comes with three USB 3.0 ports on this side. The first USB port to the left has fast charging capability with 5 volts 2.1 amps charging power. The other two ports have 5 volts 900 milliamps. On the other side, you have a Type-C port with 20 volts 5 amps fast charge protocol. You have one 1080p 60Hz VGA output display port. One HDMI port with 4K 30Hz output display. And one RJ45 Ethernet port at 100 and 1000 megabits per second. To the bottom here you have a flip-out USB Type-C cable that connects to your streaming device. To the edge here there is an LED power indicator that lights up when the device is connected. And without further ado, I will now reveal the amazing things you can do with this new device as a TV box enthusiast. So now I get to the part where Samsung comes in. With the new Samsung Galaxy S10 on the market, many of us around the world would have purchased the previous models the S8 Plus and the S9, and have given it up in exchange for the new S10. More than that, you may have a damaged screen and cannot use it, and it's just sitting there collecting dust. The James Donkey USB Hub allows you to convert your high-performance Samsung mobile phone that has a USB Type-C port or even other models and convert it into a TV box. Let me show you what I mean. So what I have here is the Samsung S8 Plus smartphone. As you can see it has a USB Type-C charging port, and all later models would carry this port type. Other phone models may or may not have this feature that I am about to show. Built into Samsung's architecture, is a feature called Samsung DeX. Most of us may have never heard of Samsung DeX before, including myself, but it delivers an extraordinary service when it interacts with a USB hub like the one here from James Donkey. So let me now show you how to connect the phone to the hub. You first connect the HDMI cable for your TV to the hub. There is also a VGA port for those with older TVs and PC monitors which is also great for dual monitor display. You can then connect your Ethernet cable from your router, or you can leave it out and use your Wi-Fi if you have fast Wi-Fi service. Since we will be using the phone as a TV box you would want to connect an Air Mouse or Mini Touchpad keyboard. You can also use a regular PC mouse or mouse and keyboard combo if you have one. You can also connect any external storage device like a flash drive or external hard drive. If you have a gamepad controller you can also connect it at the same time. You would also want to connect the power adapter for your phone into the Type-C charging port, or you can use your wireless charger. The one I have here is the official Samsung wireless charger. And the last thing to do is to connect the Type-C head into the charging port of the phone, and watch as the magic happens. So I'm set and ready to go. As you can see, the LED lights up once you connect it to your mobile device. It also lights up if you plug in a power adapter which also allows you to charge other devices. The reason for using a wireless charger or using the phone's power adapter in the Type-C power port is to prevent the battery life from running down during operation with the hub and while using it as a TV box to stream movies. 
Another thing to note is that you cannot connect any other mobile device except via the orange Type-C head. All other devices that you plug in will have to interact with that main input device. My dear viewers, what you are looking at is a launcher. This is Samsung DeX, and it is actually a built-in custom Samsung launcher that operates simultaneously with the phone's user interface. I cannot say how many other smartphones have this same feature, because I don't have a lot of cell phones lying around to test them, I only have TV boxes. However, I assure you that Samsung is not the only phone can interact with this hub. This hub can also interact with gaming consoles, mini PCs, laptops, and tablets, once they have a Type-C port. Samsung DeX provides an array of features. Firstly, the launcher is a sort of a hybrid between a Windows layout and an Android default launcher. It has a navigation bar and notifications bar. However, both bars are located at the bottom in this launcher. The launcher has a drag and drop feature to the taskbar the same way it does in a Windows operating system. And any open apps can be minimized and restored, and also closed from the taskbar also like in Windows. Other features include Volume control On-screen keyboard Device maintenance and battery usage optimization Screenshot and Google Calendar. And to top it off, in the Apps section you can add shortcuts to the launcher with drag and drop feature. Before you can really use this launcher like a TV box, you need to change three things. Firstly, you need to enable HDMI audio pass-through. This is done by clicking on the little arrow that brings up the pull-down menu you would normally have to the top, and select audio output. You then have to select display device to switch audio to the TV, as the default audio will be coming through the phone itself. The second thing you have to change, is the on-screen keyboard. By default, if you try to enter text into a search field the pop-up keyboard will appear on the phone and not on the TV. To change this you have to open settings. Then select Samsung DeX. Then select Keyboard. And turn the switch to on position. Once this is done the keyboard will appear when you click in a text field. The third thing you have to change is the orientation of the way apps open in the Samsung DeX launcher. For example, if I open Netflix, it opens up in this portrait size window that cannot be changed to full screen and we surely don't want that. So to fix this issue, you have to open Settings. Then select Samsung DeX. Then select Samsung DeX Labs. Then you have to turn on the Force Apps to Resize feature. Once you have done this return to the home screen and test it again. And you will find all your apps now give you a resize button to enter full screen mode. So we are now ready to use this phone as a powerful high-end TV box, but keep in mind that without the James Donkey USB hub, this is not going to work well. So to start testing this setup I will quickly run through some settings and benchmarks. Firstly, you cannot use alternative launchers or screen rotation in Samsung DeX. Next. On this phone Samsung DeX is not rooted. However, it is quite possible to root this cell phone using special tools. A link to how to root your Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus can be found in the description area. The good thing about the Samsung S8 Plus and other models is that you have Google Widevine Level 1 and HDCP protection. This allows you to play Netflix in HD and 4K quality. With Google Widevine Level 1 and HDCP protection, if I open Netflix, you can see that in the movie description you have the HD symbol, and it will also be able to play in 4K quality. I installed the Android TV version of YouTube from the Aptoid App Store, and it plays in 4K quality. I tried to play an 8K video, but it can only play up to 4K. That escape the naked eye to show you reality with colors and I will now run through its system and hardware information followed by its benchmarks.
So there you go. These are some very high benchmarks, the kind of benchmarks you would never see in a normal Android TV box. And now it's 4K video playback in Treaty Gaming. Hello everyone, Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith with me as usual. Big welcome to you to today's game. The opposition back off, they could be in trouble. Here he is with a chance, got to be. Good hands, here's the shot, that's a very good goal. The 4K videos played really well through the hub using a USB 3.0 flash drive, and the Treaty Gaming was the best I have ever seen on an Android device, and I was able to use my gamepad through the hub. However, the Jellyfish video failed to play, and gamepad key mapping does not work on Samsung DeX. So viewers, there you have it. This was a review of an amazing USB Type-C hub by James Donkey that allows you to convert your Android cell phone, laptop or tablet with a USB Type-C port into a high-performing Android TV box with Ethernet LAN support that beats almost any regular Android TV box. Remember, you cannot achieve this if you don't have a Type-C hub like the one from James Donkey. Links were placed in the description area for more information, or if you would like to get your hands on this device. Thanks for watching my video, if you would like to help grow my channel be sure to share it on social media platforms, and to be notified when the next great TV box review is released, hit the subscribe button and the little notifications bell for more TV box stop videos.